All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. How you doing? So today I'm going to continue the audio series with series two of three, I guess you'd call it, on the Waves products. So stuff like Vocal Writer and WL WLM Plus, um, Bass Writer, things to take care of semblance and plosives and de and all that kind of good stuff. So in case you didn't know, Waves Audio has some great plugins, especially for YouTubers like me. They're actually decently priced because they have sales all the time. Over the holidays, I bought some Wave products and the Gold Package, which is great and got it for a really good price. So this will definitely help you enhance your audio, make it better. Um, right now, this is unprocessed audio. It's just straight out of the Rode NTG5 into the Mix Pre 3 Mark II. And then we're gonna go into Final Cut Pro and slap on some Wave audio plugins to see how it sounds. Now there's other ways to do this. Um, I have RX7 Advance, which is my preference to use for audio. But for this demonstration or this tutorial, we're gonna use Final Cut Pro and add plugins that way because RX7 is kind of a pricey product and it's way overkill for my channel, but I got RX-7 Advance on a really good sale one day about six months ago. So I tend to use that in what's called the chaining method where you just line up a bunch of plugins and it just does it automatically. So let's head over to Final Cut Pro and I'll show you some of the Waves plugins and how to better improve your audio for YouTube or whatever you plan on doing with it. So stand by and let's move over. Thanks. All right, everybody, now that we're back. So we're over here on Final Cut Pro, and here I'm showing you the Waves Gold Bundle, which has about 42 different plugins. I'm just gonna show you some of my favorites. I'm not gonna go over them in great detail. Just, you know, do a quick touch base with each one that of some of my favorites. So this portion is shot with the Shure SM7B. I won't do any post-processing except for maybe some level and gain. So it doesn't blow out your ears or if it's too low, you can hear it. The intro and outro were shot on the Rode NTG5. Those also have no post-processing done, just level and gain. So here, I'm just going to go through the, the top ones, you know, that I use all the time on Final Cut. Um, these are just great all-around products. The Gold Bundle you can usually find on a great sale for all 42. So we're going to start with the first one, which is Audio Track. And let me just throw this on here. And oh, by the way, M is for mono, S is for stereo. And live is if you're doing some sort of podcast or live broadcast. So since all of our Final Cut Pro stuff is in stereo. We're going to use Audio Track S for stereo. And we're going to go ahead and drag and drop this on. And if we go over here to our little audio icon, you can see that it pops up here. Let me turn off that L1 limiter. And I'll show you that too here in a second. So here is the Audio Track interface. So basically, audio track is basically an EQ, a compressor, and a gate. It does everything for you. Um, instead of going through all the settings, which would take forever on, on a deep dive, the defaults are some of the presets are just great. So let's go ahead and we'll play this before and after. So let's go ahead and play this clip. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. How you doing? So today I'm. All right, so one of the really good presets I like on here is voice. So you heard it the before. Let's hear the after. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. How you doing? So today I'm going to continue the audio series with series two of three, I guess you'd call it, on the Waves product. So it's just subtle differences. And you can see how it affects the waveform, and you can hear how it affects... So if I turn this off and on, you can see how it affects the waveform. And you can definitely go through and play with these settings. Um, some are better than others. It's just what is your personal preference. Um, the voice one is pretty good. 
The voiceover is another good one. Let me go ahead and play that one. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. How you doing? So today I'm going to continue the audio series. That's with it off. Series back two on. of three, I guess you'd call it, on the wave. So that was audio track. And this is just a quick and easy way to do a quick, you know, EQ, compressor, and gate on your vocals or your dialogue. And one of the things I have loaded already is an L1 limiter. And this is another great one because I just wanted to make it a little louder. So you can see I have it on for voice. And we'll go ahead and play that off and on too as well. In case you didn't know, Waves Audio has some great plugins, especially for YouTubers like me. They're actually decently priced because they have sales all the time over the holiday. And this, once again, said taking a deep dive. Just go ahead and try some of the presets because they're pretty good. You know, we can try mastering. And you can see how it affects the audio down at the bottom right away. Nowadays, I bought some Wave products and the gold package which is great and got it for a really good price. So this will definitely. So one of my other favorite plugins, um, instead of leaving these on, I'm going to turn them off so you can see how each plugin affects the audio. So we'll turn off the L1 limiter. We'll turn off audio track. And the next thing we're going to try is bass writer. And basically what this does is add bass and even out your bass automatically. So one of the good things we're going to do here is we're going to try, let's try clean and dynamic and see how it affects our voice. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. How you doing? So today I'm going to continue the audio series with, turn it off. I'll cycle this on and off so you can hear the difference. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. How you doing? So today I'm going to continue the audio series with series two of three, I guess you'd call it, on the Waves products. So stuff like Vocal Writer and... So you can see it greatly affects your audio. Um, it, you definitely need to use headphones or some really good uncolored speakers if you're trying to see the difference between the dialogue that's going on here. Uh, the other, another good one is the C1 Compressor. Will you pull, pull on the stereo one? Let me turn off bass writer so it doesn't affect the vocals any. So let's go to the C1 compressor. This is just an all around good one as well. Um, we'll just try some presets here. Let's do speech compressor. And you can see right away how it affect the audio. We help you enhance your audio, make it better. Um, right now, this is unprocessed audio. It's just straight out of the Rode NTG5 into the mix. And, and you can notice as I click it on and off how much of a difference it makes. So that's another one of my, my favorite ones. The other one is the C4. And for you, for all of you that do not know, this is a the C4 is a multi-band compressor. So once again, I'm just going to select one of the defaults or one of the presets. So let's go ahead and hear before and then after. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. How you doing? So today I'm going to continue the audio series with series two of three, I guess you'd call it, on the Waves products. So stuff like Vocal Writer and okay, that's what the voiceover WL preset WLM Plus. Um, bass writer, things to take care of, semblance and plosives and deessers and all that kind of good stuff. So as you can see, it's a subtle difference. Sometimes it makes a big difference, but just play around with it. So here's a bass compressor and deesser. Let's try that. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. How you doing? So today I'm going to continue the audio series with series two of three, I guess you. So these are just really easy plugins that you can, you don't even have to learn them in detail. You know, they all have great help files and if you want to read about them and dive into greater detail. All right, one of my other favorite ones is just a hybrid compressor. 
And we'll go ahead and throw that on there. And let's go ahead and select some here. So this is Type Vocals. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. How you doing? So today I'm going to continue the audio series with series two of three, I guess you'd call it, on the Waves products. So stuff like Vocal Writer and WL WLM Plus, um, Bass Writer, things to take care of semblance and plosives and deessers and all that kind of good stuff. So in case you... So this is mastering. Let's turn it on and off. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. How you doing? So today I'm going to continue the audio series. So it's just a nice compressor, you know, based on like an old optical compressor design. So that's another good one. Let me go ahead and turn this off so it doesn't affect any of the other plugins. Now, a really good one is called MV2. And if you don't know, MV2 is a high and low level compressor in one plugin. You know, so this can definitely do something with your loudness and, you know, you can make, you can hear it better and all that other good stuff. So you can see here, you know, loud, very loud. So let's go ahead and just try loud. And you can see how it affected the waveform. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. How you doing? So today I'm going to continue the audio series with series two of three, I guess you'd call it, on the Waves products. So stuff like Vocal Writer and WL, WLM Plus, um, Bass Writer, things to take care of semblance and plosives and deessers and all that kind of good stuff. So in case you didn't know, so you see what a huge difference this makes with the high and low end compressors, you know, even out the transients on top, Anything that's kind of low, it'll bring it on up. So this is another great plugin. And one of the last things I want to show you is WLM Plus. And of course, I'm going to put the stereo one on there. And this will definitely measure the loudness of your dialogue or your audio. And it acts as a true peak limiter. So if you don't know, YouTube has a standard of minus 14 LUFS. So let's just go ahead and pick one here and we'll turn the true peak limiter on and we'll go ahead and reset this and let's see what we can do to make our audio louder. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. How you doing? So today I'm going to continue the audio series with series two of three, I guess you'd call it, on the Waves products. So stuff like Vocal Writer and... WL, WLM Plus, um, Bass Writer, things to take care of semblance and plosive. So you don't want to put this too far up because you'll start clipping your audio. Or even if you don't clip your audio and you turn it too far up, it kind of, it'll, you don't want to turn it up too high because it'll make your audio sound warbly. So that's it for the quick look at the Waves Gold Bundle and WLM Plus, which is not part of the Gold Bundle. Just some great all-around products. So stand by and uh, we'll head back to the camera. Thanks. All right, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed this little tutorial on the Waves products. Hopefully it made sense and that you can make your audio better and clearer and you can enhance your audio very simply, very easy. In Final Cut Pro, you don't need any special audio editor, you know, like RX-7 Advance or some of the more pricey products. So hopefully this made sense and hopefully it helped you or taught you something. Please do me a favor, consider hitting that subscribe button. I'm stuck at one of my numbers again for a week, so if you could subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Hit that like, you know, hit the double dislike if you thought this video stunk. But anyways, have a great day or night, everybody. Happy shooting. Thank you. Bye.